Let's get back to shares in Canadian natural resources. Uh, they got a boost today after that giant oil and gas producer posted a fourth quarter profit beat and now aims to return 100% of its free cash flow to shareholders after net debt fell to about $10 billion. We're joined by Grant White, Portfolio Manager and Investment Advisor at IA Private Wealth. Uh, it's always great to see you. Uh, <clears throat> is this ever, it's, it's been an investor darling for a long time, but uh, it's something of a shining angel today. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I mean, it's looking nice. I mean, I'm glad we've owned it for some time, <laughs> frankly, um, but it's, uh, it's, it's a nice to get a good report like this as well. And, and, you know, we still believe there's room to grow with this company. Uh, you know, it, it's, I wouldn't say, especially compared to some of the other uh, Canadian energy producers, it might not be a natural fit from a value perspective, but, you know, the fact that, that the companies continue to be able to grow its profitability in particular, and, uh, and, and really just great governance in the company and managing their debt and their balance sheet overall um, this is a this has been a, a darling in our portfolios for some time and uh, we expect it to continue on and you say one one thing it has going for it is diversity I mean it's obviously very heavily weighted in the oil sands but it's a huge natural gas producer too yeah and I think that like that's a key distinguisher for us I mean if you compare it to other Canadian energy producers one of the things that we really like is having as much diversity as possible in in the revenue stream and I mean I get, I get that that's a bit challenging when you're focusing just on Canada but if the more we uh, the more diversity we can have there the more stable uh, you know we can feel about uh, about the future of the company and especially when it comes to a company like CNQ where uh, not only the diverse in terms of like the, the like between oil and gas but you know we also love their ability to to, uh, in, in oil production and, and, and manage the pricing or be able to handle pricing changes a little bit better than some of perhaps the smaller players can. And so uh, for those reasons, it gives us a lot of confidence in their ability to not only to continue to grow, but you know, increase dividends and have stability in the dividend as compared to some of their peers. Let's, uh, still a substantial company, but a smaller player, Crescent Point, uh, they beat expectations in their latest quarter. Yeah, Crescent Point had another nice report, which is, you know, good to see. And uh, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's done a great job. It's a solid company um, uh, in terms of what they've been able to do. I have some more concerns over Crescent Point, if you will. I think that the the volatility that the company could face in share prices is going to be a little bit higher than what we would expect from CNQ. And then again, it's just part of that is size. Part of that is their ability to manage uh, through uh, through oil price fluctuations. To be fair, I think oil prices are going to remain range bound as that we've seen over the last year or so, uh, and I think that's going to be the case. I have nothing. There's nothing to make me believe that we're going to see big increases in oil prices or maybe even big drops in oil prices uh, to at this point in time. But you know, I do think that a company like CNQ has a little bit more uh, uh, more stability related to that, and a little bit more ability to remain profitable as compared to a Crescent Point. And so, for those reasons, uh, you know, we would uh, we would prefer to own uh, Canadian Natural Resources, but nothing against Crescent. Point point on, on the report they've done a great job and uh, uh, and I think that uh, they have some strong upside as well what were your thoughts on the TD bank earnings they are we knew this investing heavily in compliance that awful word with this uh, yeah. potential money laundering penalty hang or sorry penalty for alleged lack of controls on money laundering I don't want to misphrase that in any way hanging over them um, what's your view on that stock I love compliance as much as you do, Andy. Uh, so no, <laughs> I think that you know TD is is uh, another nice report as well. I think they they've shown to be uh, uh, they've done a great job. I think they've made good strategic investments. It's interesting that uh, you know the with the loan, uh, sorry, the anti money laundering uh, costs associated mm -hmm. with the that potential acquisition and what they're facing right now. But you know, I think that's that's largely baked in. I mean, this isn't a, a surprise what's going on there. And so from a price perspective, I'm not worried about that particular aspect of it. What I like about TD is the diversification of revenue streams. It's a common theme for this uh, segment because um, you know, I, whether it's uh, RBC or TD for that matter, uh, where we're seeing uh, better growth opportunities in, is in capital markets and, and mm. in particular on the U.S. side of things. And so TD's uh, acquisitions in, in uh, recent years into the U.S. capital markets um, has certainly helped them in terms of diverse uh, revenue and, uh, and, and helping them in profitability. And I think that's a bigger story going to be going forward. One of the things I don't want to tie ourselves to is, is the banking on the fact that interest rates are going to drop and the, at uh, the 
levels that we hope they will. And then the loan loss provisions are going to come back and create this windfall. I think that is going to happen. Um, but in the meantime, if things are not, uh, don't go as well as we hoped in that space, then, uh, then I think it's a good idea to have a little bit of a more diverse uh, revenue stream. Um, and saying that as well, I also like the fact that they're not so tied to domestic revenue streams in terms of deposits and loans. Uh, I mean, they've obviously benefited from that in the, in the recent quarter, as has all have all the Canadian banks for the most part. But uh, but like I said, I, I like the fact that they have a little bit more of a diverse revenue stream going forward. And I think that's going to pay off.